Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. When we last left off, we were trying to do the missing persons, which I thought there was eight of them in Mexico, but uh, apparently not. Apparently there's only six, which is uh, happy days, I can tell you. Uh, I have just brought a laptop as well. Um, more of an ultrabook, actually. Just because I wanted something useful for having a little bit of information up whilst recording. And uh, having a timer as well, a reliable timer. So I managed to get like, a really good deal on one uh, on sale for £300. And, you know, I haven't brought a, a laptop in about seven or eight years. I was quite surprised at um, what you actually get for a, a, oh dear, oh dear, for a relatively small amount of money these days. Um, it's kind of interesting, you know, terabyte hard drive, four gigs of RAM, um, no DVD drive which I thought was quite interesting. But yeah, you know, you got your Bluetooth and everything. I remember last time I brought a, a laptop, um, Bluetooth was a relatively expensive option. And I knew that was gonna happen. So yeah, so I now have my, my streaming buddy, as I recalled it, uh, restarting in town. Now obviously it's uh, not gonna be gaming or anything like that, but it's not there to be gaming. It's, uh, it's there to have like 14 hours apparently battery life um, and to display information, helpful hints and tips and my stream and my chat and it does that wonderfully actually. Right, okay. Hmm. I wasn't sure about a dual core but uh, yeah, yeah, very good. But then I suppose Windows 10 is actually, oh, I'm going towards the missing person and not the horse. Windows 10 is actually a very um, very lightweight Windows. A lot of people hate Windows 10. Um, I don't really know why. I have always been a, a Windows user. I think uh, Windows 10 is fantastic. I love it. People are like, oh, Microsoft is spying on me, blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, you know, maybe a bit of an unpopular uh, opinion, but I don't care. You know, it doesn't really bother me. Um, for those uh, for those people that it really does bother, they can just turn all that stuff off anyway, mostly. Right, let's try this again. But uh, honestly, I, I don't give a shit if a corporation is watching the websites and things that I go on. It, you know, I couldn't care less. Right, okay. Pretty sure everything's going to go that way anyway. Targeted ads and whatnot. Now. Okay. Well, I could understand if you're concerned if you're a pedophile or something, then yeah, that would make sense. But uh, a little bit of uh, advice for you, uh, don't be a pedophile and, and you won't have anything to worry about. Oh god! There we go, oh shit, things are getting worse. Oh, also I have found a little bit more information out about the achievement that we were trying to get. Uh, where we've got to kill four enemies in one. Now, apparently... Oh, God, he's a quick bastard. Apparently, uh, you not only do you have to be in Deadeye, but you have to target something. So, I was unaware of that. Right, you're done, love. Come here. Come on. There we go. You're done, too. Right, let's go. Come on, Pinky. Let's try and get this guy out of here, if we can. Pinky, why do you keep running off like miles and miles and miles away? I mean, is there any need for it other than for you to be a dreadful inconvenience? Come right, on, buddy. Let's go. What, have you never seen a dead horse before? I mean, honestly. Is this really the weirdest thing you've seen in this town? Be honest now. All right, let's get the flock out of here. Oh, also, happy Easter, everybody. It is uh, Easter. I don't celebrate Easter, uh, so... Hmm. Happy Chocolate Day, I guess. Even though this is probably going to be up like three weeks after Easter. Awkward. Hmm. Well, at least I've uh, date stamped this video. Probably will be about three weeks, actually. I've got uh, damn near 20 videos of this game to go up, I think. Or maybe, maybe like 14 or something. You know, I didn't think this game was going to be that long. And it probably wouldn't have been that long if we had... Uh, yeah, 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 cool story, bro. This game probably wouldn't have been that long if we just beelined towards the end. But uh, that's not how we roll, man. We take it slow and we enjoy the experience. Pinky, we had this problem last time, Pinky. 
Ah, oh, god damn it. Pinky. There we go. Yeah, chocolate day is always a weird thing for me. I'm not really a fan of chocolate like that. I don't mind it. Oh dear. Well, things are about to get ugly. Let's do this. You're dead. Oh. You know, actually, we probably would have a little bit more luck if we were using our shotgun. Just maybe. But at the same time, yeah, shotgun time. Kill all the undead near the gate. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing. I thought, oh no, almost shot him. Almost. Come on, buddy. Boom, right in your face. One more. Come on, my friend. You want a little bit more of this? Plenty for you. Okay, maybe maybe the spread pattern on it isn't as fantastic as I was hoping. I mean, it's not bad. We did it. Aha! Victory. Whilst we're here, we might as well pick all the bodies clean. Because uh, we want to keep our shotgun topped up. We're going to be using this shotgun a fair amount, I would wager. Yeah, thanks for the bullets. Oh, I forgot you got ammo for doing this. Kind of makes sense. Revolver ammo. Eight revolver ammo for si Oh, no, we've got shotgun ammo. Okay, all is forgiven. All right, I shall overlook this uh, this injustice. All right, what have we got here? Take poster. Next person. One down, five to go. Oh, yeah, the only problem with this place is getting out of it. Although, is it easier to get out the back. I don't know if this is technically the back or, or would this be the front. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think we can go out that way. Can we go... Uh-huh. Nope. That's the bad one. I hate these... Ah, these places. I mean, Fort Mercer was okay. That wasn't too bad at all. But this one is proper annoying to get out of. Almost as if they're trying to keep the undead out or something. <clears throat> well, we'll forgive them. I suppose we don't have a choice. It's not as if we can go on a murdering spree. I mean, I guess we could, but we might get shouted at for that. And by shouted at, I of course mean shot at. Which is... Sim oh, God damn it. Really? I always forget how we get out of here. Is it that up there? I think it might be this one. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you got the two ladders. You got this one and then the one straight ahead. I remember. I wish we could just go out the front door. You know, at this point, I don't even care about letting the zombies in. Let them in. Feed them. Uh, no, we do not want to get on the cannon. Leave the cannon. Not really sure why the the use box for the cannon is, is so big. But never mind. Right. Okay. Now, if we actually examine journal in one dead, now it says in one dead eye meter, but from what I've just looked up, and by what I just looked up, I mean what I looked up earlier, or yesterday or something, apparently you have to actually select one in dead eye meter. Which, we got a charger, that's fine. We got a charger, we got a normal, we're just gonna have one go at this. Ah, we got a runner, we just need a spitter. Just need a spitter and our life is complete. We got a fat guy up here, just trying to aggro him. Oi, dickhead! Oh, we're sliding down. Oh, that was uncomfortable. Can you get up, please, John? Thank you. You're a hero, John. Alright, come on, let's get a spitter. Where are the zombies? None of the zombies are spawning now. Well, that's awkward. That's incredibly awkward. Really? No spitters? Hmm. I'm mean, kind of hosed with that one of those, to be honest. Well, yeah. one way to settle these guys. Although that, yeah. Yeah, that could have gone better. Now, these guys should spawn in now. 
you're just a normie. You're no good to man or beast. Really? No, we're not going in Switzers. Oh well, I guess we'll come back here later. Right, let's go. Car horsey, let's get out of here. We'll take our shotgun. We know where we're not wanted. Buddy, seriously, do you not understand how a shotgun works? I pointed at you and you die. It's quite simple. Right, let's go. Let's go find our friend who seems to have got himself into a little bit of bother. And of course, there's a massive cliff down there that we can't go down. <sighs> um, there we go. We've got to go miles away. Miles around. Actually tempted to get back onto Famine, to be honest. Just because Famine is quicker. I don't think there's like a massive amount in it, but there's enough in it for it to uh, make a difference, I think. Um, unless it is just in uh, on the actual fields and not on the path. I'm not sure. Further research is needed. I might look that up after this video. But then I always say that. I say, I'm going to do this after this video, and then I never do. Because, you know, my brain is old, you know? Not like you, you young spring chickens. Okay? I've been here a few years. Okay, more years than I ever thought I'd be here. So, you know, that's kind of awkward. When you get to a certain age and you're like, well, I had no plans. Because I thought I was going to drink and party myself to death. But no, life had grander, grander um, things in mind for me. Apparently. Either that or it's just going to be evil and torment me for the rest of my existence, which, you know, okay, fair, fair play, fair play life, that's okay. Nothing ever interesting happens in this town either. Casa Mandru Ada, or something. Probably butchered that, you know, and I don't really care, because it's foreign, so that's all good. Now, hang on, can we cut across? I mean, we can we save a little bit of uh, distance by going this way, I suppose. Not a huge amount. I wish this horse was faster. I mean, seriously. <sighs> Although, I have to be honest, the four horsemen... Ooh, what is that? The four horsemen kind of, like, idea was really cool. It really was. Right, let's have a little look. I'll be having that. Thank you. Woolly blue curls. What do we need to make bait? Uh, need to go into inventory. Bait. We need prairie poppy uh, and wild fever few. Oh, okay. So the, the the curls are completely useless then. I have just wasted your time, ladies and gentlemen. I apologise. We will not be picking many more flowers, I can assure you of that. Unless they're extra pretty. Uh, in which case, it, w it would be a shame to leave them where they lie. So having said that, <laughs> it's kind of like the, the, the Elder Scrolls thing, where you find a massive bush of uh, delicious flowers, or at least uh, lovely smelling flowers, and he literally picks one out of the whole thing. Do you know how much easier and more convenient this game would be if, if he harvested the lot? I guess he's preserving the environment and, and, and he's very forward thinking in, in that regard. And, uh, you know, I can appreciate a guy like that, you know. But uh, sometimes, you know, you have to bend the rules to get what we want. Now, where the hell is this dickhead? How did you get yourself up there? I mean, honestly. Like. <sighs> I know, John. I know. This guy is a bit of a moron. How did you get up there? Oh, it's that place. Uh, of course it is. Okay. Yep. Don't worry about it, Pinky. I won't worry about you because uh, I can always respawn you if I need to. Alright, we've got to follow the path round. This is dreadfully inconvenient of this this gentleman. Never mind, never mind. 
we just continue being a good Samaritan because that is what we do. A legend of the West, some might say. You know? I mean, some might say he was just in the right place at the right time, but, but I disagree. I think John is a, a legend of the West. I mean, you know, who else can die and come back a thousand times without, uh, without becoming a zombie? So, yeah, he has powers. Superpowers, actually, if you think about it. Are we breaking the fourth wall? We may be breaking the fourth wall, but that's okay. Ooh. How would this place work? Because, whoa, oh, 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 whoops, wrong weapon. Yeah, how would this place work? Because this is usually full of survivors. That's kind of interesting. Oh, evening chap. Ouch. Thank you for knocking my dodgy tooth out. It was very kind of you. I will return the favour by giving you some dentistry. We're certainly not on the menu, John. I hope we're not on the menu. That would be awkward. Uh, how do I get in? Oh, through the door. No, not through the door. Can we drop in through the roof? Maybe? Please don't die down there, sir. No, don't get on... Whoa, okay. Don't get on the ladder, John. Yeah, thank you. I will get to this missing person as soon as I can. This missing person seems to be locked away somewhere, though. She's a little bit... <sighs> really? God damn it. Why have you put yourself in a maze? Surely you'd want to put yourself somewhere that has a nice, easy exit. This place looks like it's got one way in and one way out. Sir... Okay, not even... What? Oh, these buildings. Oh. Okay, the door is now open. Okay. The door wasn't open before. We're not going to question it. We're not going to question it. Right, come on, you undead bastards. One for you. You going to follow me now, pal? Have I done enough to appease you? Have I proved that I'm here to save you? You're going to follow me now. Yes? No? Maybe? Twin Rocks has come under attack. Of course it has. Ouch! Look, buddy! I'm... You know, you've got to shoot them in the head. Okay. That's just the way it is. John, you could be giving people these little pearls of wisdom. <clears throat> is, is my horse really down there? Ah, for the love of... Okay. Well... If you could kindly get your ass up here, Pinky. I mean, that is just... <sighs> Pinky, and you were doing so well. You were you were earning my favour, and that box had nothing in it. Pinky, you were so close to earning my favour. And then you just became the world's most useless horse. By somehow falling down a mountain. Even the animals are what, buddy? Even the animals are stupid. Yes. Yes, they are. I couldn't agree more. Ah, bloody horse. Mate, do you have a horse, perchance? One that isn't retarded. One that has higher functioning mental abilities. Cow Pinky, you're supposed to be like some undead uh, horse, you know? Surely you have a certain amount of uh, cognitive function with that. Or do you, do you not? Are you, are you just uh, s as stupid as the rest? I've lost my damn mind. You haven't lost your damn mind, John. You've lost your damn horse, which is worse. You don't need a mind to fight, but you need a horse to survive. Uh, why did you come up here again? To a place where your back is so obviously against the wall? You are a special kind of simpleton. Not even the adorable uh, type of simpleton. That's the sad thing. You're just a pathetic simpleton. Okay. 
Now I'm not gonna buy the fact that you were you were just up there randomly. Ooh. Were you up there when we exterminated the town? Ah. That's awkward. Okay. Maybe I should cut you some slack. Although I shouldn't. Because you you you're still a knobhead, mate. Let's go. Nobody gets cut slack. This is our redemption, though. If he was part of the town, the town that we mercilessly executed um, with 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 great skill, um, and uh, <laughs> and little conscience, you know, maybe this is our redemption. We we found the the one survivor that managed to hide and cower, and save him. Sure, he may have a load in his pants, and he's uh, stuck to the back of my horse right now. But uh, you know, he's not dead yet. So we we are going to be a hero. Okay, not bad, buddy. Not bad. Are you gonna forgive me for murdering your wife and children now? You are excellent. Not that carry the way, to be honest. If he gives us any lip, we can just kick him off the back of the horse and... Ah, oh, we can't, though. We can't, because we need that... We need that bit of paper saying that uh, we saved him. God damn it, they think of everything in this game. Can we really not get up there somehow? Do we really have to go all the way around this rock? The answer to that, my friends, is yes. At least as far as I know, anyway. What the hell do I know? I don't know. I don't know what I know. But hopefully I know just enough to get us through this game. Alright, let's hit destination. There we go. I should get a GPS map now. Lovely. Yeah, that's very forward thinking as well, the old GPS map. Hmm. I think that the first game that actually used that was, um, or to the degree it did, I should say, was uh, GTA 4, I want to say. I don't know if that's accurate, actually. It might not be. It might have been like GTA 3. Possibly. Yeah, GTA 3 might have been the first. But then GTA 3 didn't really have a waypoint system like that. You know, you could place markers and it would show you on the map the marker, but it wouldn't draw you a line. So I actually think that was GTA 4 that was the first game for that. Or was it Saints Row? Saints Row had a similar system. I know Sega tried to patent the whole idea of um, using an arrow to point you to your destination, which is why Rockstar and a few other companies had to come up with another another method. Because the big floaty arrow was uh, patented. Which, Sega, that was a really stupid and dickish thing to do. But, you know, uh, I suppose if they didn't patent that, uh, we wouldn't have a, a far superior GPS method. So... I guess thanks for being complete fuckwad Sega and trying to, you know, um, patent a feature that really shouldn't be patented, I guess. Hmm. But there's like Namco um, patenting, patenting the idea of playing a game in a loading screen as well. Again, another penis uh, blowing feature or move, I should say. Yes, there we go. This is ridiculous. If it wasn't for that, more games would have had uh, mini games and whatnot to play during the loading screens, which, well, would have certainly been nice in some regards. Who's undead here? Who, who, who is undead? You're undead, I think. Yes, you have a meat cleaver in your brain. You're not. You look undead. Yes. Saved you there, pal. You're an undead. And you're just standing there doing nothing. Which is kind of unwise. Okay. I think we did it. Yay! There we go, buddy. You're now safe. That's half of them done. Are we just going to get, like, revolver bullets and shotgun shells again? Or are we going to get something a little... A little more substantial. I guess not, folks. I guess not. Right, let's go save the game. I don't actually know if it saves the game uh, between these. 
Uh, if I had to guess, I'm going to say yes, but I haven't noticed the save symbol come up, so let's quickly go save it. We're on, hmm, we're on 25 minutes. I might try and do one more because I do want to get these done as fast as I can because they're extremely repetitive and um, they're just blatant filler content. Yes, overwrite that. That is as, as long as we don't get the black screen. You know, actually, the game's been behaving itself fairly well. I don't want to say this too loud, but touch wood. The game, bug-wise, has been behaving itself. We did have a, a patch there where we was having every other like episode, or even every episode for a while, that was completely bugged and glitched out. Whereas now, the game is being good. All right, I'll bite. One more. And that way we'll be halfway through, and hopefully we'll finish the rest off in the next video. Oh, it does save, yeah. Los Hernandez. Okay. Now, if I was an exit to this place, apparently, between you and me, ladies and gentlemen, I would be up here. Yeah, man. There we go. Okay, not bad. Um, do we have one of... Ooh, guys, we have one of every... No, get off the fucking cannon, John! I'm gonna... Oh, Jesus Christ. I would stick that cannon so far up your ass, you'd be able to taste cast iron. There we go. Right. Now. Hopefully, my friends... Uh, get off that, John. Thank you. We might, actually. Because we have one of everything here. We do. I'm sure I saw a spitter here somewhere. I might be wrong. Maybe there's no spitter. Do we have a spitter? Do we not have a spitter? Seriously? You're not a spitter. Nope. Really? Why are the spitters so rare these days? They were common as muck earlier. Yeah, well. No spitter. That means there's no point in us wasting our time. Come on, Pinky. There you go, buddy. Good Pinky. Good Pinky. I give you six cats out of five. Right. Now. Where is this unfortunate fellow? Oh, at least he's, like, actually here. Ah, uh, this is a mission area. Ha! <laughs> you know, I forgot we still had missions to do. Damn. I tell you guys, old brain. You won't listen to me, but it's true. Old brain. And I think my brain might have been second hand at birth as well. Hey, that's not bad thinking. That might explain a thing or twenty. Hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, I believe that does. Alright, well, we're cutting across this. Rocker de Madera. Yeah. I think they should have English underneath these uh, these foreign names. Actually, I was talking to a friend um, a couple of days ago, and we were talking about the whole notion that when you think of Americans, like, and uh, when when Americans think of English, uh, we don't actually consider each other foreigners, which is kind of strange. And this was something that I, I've noticed since I, I've um, been doing YouTube. It feels so strange to call uh, an American a foreigner, but it's it's true. It's really weird. It's strange. Yeah, maybe it's because we're so similar, but we're also really not at the same time. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Now let's go. Almost there. Come on. I cannot wait to be done with these. When I was um, doing some research on this game before I started it, when I read off about these missing persons, I was like, oh, seriously? I mean, it wasn't so bad in the main game because you got reward money. But in this, in uh, in the zombies, uh, Undead Nightmare, you, you don't really get anything for doing it that's very uh, worthwhile. So... But it's okay. It's all right, baby. It's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. Ooh, ouch. Whoa. He, <laughs> he was really going to bend us over that barrel, wasn't he? 
Oh, that's not very nice, sir. Okay, yep. We want to put that one away. That is not the best weapon to wander around with. And also, interesting thing about... Oh, why are these guys aiming guns at us? Maybe that's because this town is saved. Ooh, Jesus. There we go, you're dead. Um, seriously, you need me to come and save you even though there are people here? Why are you aiming guns at me, guys? This is disturbing. Right, where are you? Where are you? Yeah, man. Oh, hello. Evening. You look like that woman from Brain Dead. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, good enough. Where are you? Really? Are you like upstairs somewhere? Seems logical. There you are. Come on, love. Let's go. Let's go. Oi. Oi. Can I take you out this way? I can, I think. Come on then, my dear. Let's go. At least she's packing heat. That's something. Uh, you follow me? You are excellent. Yeah, I don't care about your boyfriend. Okay. Is your boyfriend here saving you? No. No, he is not. Therefore, he is a pitiful excuse for a, a, a man. And that's why old John Marston here has to step up to the plate. Now, let's have a little look. Ah, here we go. Come on, my dear. This way. That's it. Keep walking. Left, right, left, right. Hang on. This ain't the right way, is it? Good lord. Back this way. Aha! Big open door. Light at the end of the tunnel, some would say. Let's get out of this, uh, this place. This place has too much god. You can see it's literally crawling out of the ground. Come on. Are you serious? Now you're going to make pinky weight. And nobody makes pinky weight apart from me. Come on, love. This way. Come on. Time is money. Well, time is bullets, I suppose. Be more apt. Come on. Left, right, left, right, left, right. There you go. You remember? You remember learning to walk? Running's exactly the same. You just quicken your pace. Jesus, these people. Do they even deserve it? Really? Well, I suppose we can't complain. Probably quite hard for her to jump up with that skirt and all, I suppose. Cut her some slack. Right, now. Let's get back. Let's ride. Now, interesting, my information here on my screen is telling me that there's only six of these. When I initially read this up, because again, hard eye roll, roll at the whole saving people. When I initially read it, uh, it said there was eight. Ten in the first place, eight in the seventh. In the second. Yeah, 18 in total. So, you better believe I'm hoping that was wrong. In fact, I don't think this mode would have lost anything by not having this. I think, as I said before, in the actual main game, it serves a purpose because you do get money for it. And uh, not an insignificant amount, if I remember correctly. Ooh. Don't worry about it. Pinky has the power of, uh, I would say the devil, but uh, he has more power than the devil. Pinky is death himself. So, <laughs> Pinky laughs at the devil. Pinky is the most powerful force on this plane. And he is subservient to me. So, yes. What does that say about Mr. Marston? So, if Pinky is the Grim Reaper... Oh, no, actually, no. Technically, that's not true. Um, Pinky is Death's horse. Uh, you know. So... I suppose that makes John the Grim Reaper, which is interestingly apt. Uh, he would be the Grim Reaper with a conscience. 
a little bit like when Rincewind had to step up and become the Grim Reaper in Discworld. Discworld 2. What's that? You haven't played Discworld 2? I am disappointed and ashamed of you. Because that game was fantastic. That was easily one of my favourite games um, these days. And, and the humour in it. Well, it's Discworld. But the humour actually holds up really nicely. I remember a whole chunk got broken out of that game. And I can't remember why or how uh, when I was a kid. And I had to wait over a year to get it replaced. Because that wasn't an easy game to find, if, if I'm remembering correctly. My dad actually had to mail order it. But uh, I was stuck on that game for ages as well. Oh god, really? Pinky, that's not very nice. Right, now we need to be a little bit surgical here. I'm noticing there's some undead here that are just kind of standing around, not doing a lot. And I'm okay with this. I am very okay with this. And have I mentioned in this video at least 17 times how much I love the shotgun? Ooh, someone actually killed a zombie. And I support this fact. Right. Let's harvest some of these corpses. Hey, you leave Seth alone. Seth is a crazy, confused man. Okay. But, but he knows things that we wish we knew. Or maybe we didn't wish we knew. Either or. These are very strange times. Right, okay, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, hopefully, we're going to finish off uh, the last few missing people. And then we don't have to worry about that again. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, as always. Until next time.